good morning let's repop this tephro cactus uh, right here so yeah we'll go do that so how amazing is this all right I got a pot here and there's the cactus so and you guys know I like screen down in there so I got screen there's my potting media that's a cactus this is a fun little guy to grow so anywho we're gonna get it done now there's a little bit of hydroton up in this uh, and this also ow that's got a spine yeah this is pretty easy stuff here but I wanted to put it in a slightly smaller container than it was in because these guys didn't it didn't really have a lot of roots so uh yeah and we're just about there guys yeah we're just about there alrighty I think we're done How's that work? Okay, so there's our tephro cactus all nicely potted up and ready to rock and roll. It didn't have a really big root system, so I chose a smaller pot on that. So, alrighty, back into the polytunnel it goes. Okay, guys, next on the potting or repotting um, adventures today is this tree. This is a Bursera microphylla, native to the American Southwest, um, Arizona, Mexico. Yeah, great for bonsai. So it's already getting a cool shape to it too. So, anywho, and you can see why they call it microphylla. Those little small leaves. Beautiful tree. Beautiful. And uh, it's also an incense tree. Give you a spin around and check it out that way. Um, we're finally starting to get some branching on it. And uh, I'm not doing anything with it as far as pruning or anything like that. But um, I am going to be putting it into this pot. A clay pot right here. So, anywho, let's get started. Okay, so I've already got my screen installed in there. So... That's a good deal. Okay, let's get this underway. There's the tag. We're gonna see what kind of root system we've got in here. Probably quite a bit. Okay, that can go over here. Now, uh, the Bursera, um, they're related to frankincense trees, so um, you can't expect these guys to lose leaves. Alright, I am not going to do much with that root, um, except leave it. So I'm going to pause and get things situated here. All right, so I got the pot up here, and I've got it back filled with some media. That's the same media that it was in, and then I've still got some of that fresh. So what I'm going to do is uh, yeah, I need a little more in there. I think. There we go. And then just put more media around it. Boy, that smells good. It smells like Christmas. You know that piney scent you get from the Christmas trees and all that? Yeah, that's what these guys smell like. Yeah, a little bit more. A 
little different than a Christmas tree scent, but pretty close. So, all right, all I'm going to do is basically water this tree in. These guys can handle a little more water than, say, most desert plants. So, I mean, they can handle drought really well, but I wanted to give it a good start, you know. So, alrighty. Let me pause and I'll get the camera here off the tripod and give you a look-see against the wall over there. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I'll give it a spin around. So you guys can see the branch structures. Alrighty, so there we go. It's in a new pot. Okay, for the rest of the video here, what we'll do is uh, I'm going to take some stuff out of the polytunnel and we'll look into some bloom spike progression and stuff like that and see how things are doing. And we'll call the video good. All right, let me get this stuff unloaded and uh, we'll take a look at stuff. Okay, so first up here is the Selogeny Rosushinii and uh, that's got a nice bloom spike coming along. As you can see, they'll be opening up any day here. And I will most definitely share those with you guys. These are gorgeous. They smell kind of lemony, uh, sweet lemony. Some people don't like the smell of them, but uh, I think they're quite uh, fragrant, nicely fragrant, actually. So, but uh, one of my favorite orchids that I grow. And Michael McCarthy sent me some uh, orchid pictures. Uh, so we'll take a look at those. I'll throw those in here while we're checking that out and we'll go into the polytunnel. Uh, the first one he sent me is RLC, I think Volcano Trick. I'm doing this from memory. Uh, Volcano Trick, Volcano Queen, I think. And uh, yeah, anyway, here's a picture of that from Michael. And we'll go into the polytunnel. And there is that glorious Ranka Stylus. Um, and speaking of Ryan Castilis, um Michael McCarthy also sent me a picture of his, uh, oh, what is it, uh, Vanda Castilis or Neostylis uh, Loose Neary, which is a gorgeous one. So here's that picture from uh, Michael. And these guys are just cranking out. Gosh, I love this orchid. And he sent me another one also. Let me pause for a second. Yeah, he sent me another one. This is my Christmas cactus, but here is a picture of Michael's No ID Christmas cactus, which is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, yeah, he's been uh, cultivating that for a few years now, I guess. So um, anyway, thank you, Michael, for uh, sharing your pics with us. And I uh, really appreciate that. I love seeing other people's pictures. so. Um, I'll add my uh, email address if you feel like feeling froggy and feel like leaping jump ahead and throw me some pics out and uh, Thank you for watching and subscribing and we'll see you guys on the flip side love and peace and as always keep it growing